Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I have another order from Galen Leather and this is my third ever order from them. So let's just get right into the unboxing. So this arrived from Turkey um, and it actually went via FedEx. So it actually arrived very quickly. Yes, I did have to pay some customs charges on top of that, um, but I think it's well worth it for how quick it gets here from Turkey, but also the quality of the products that you get. And then with every order, you get a pouch like this. I have other pouches from Galen Leather as well. So these are the two other pouches that I have from them from their order. So they have these pouches with every order. And I love that I have three different colors now, but they're really great pencil cases or pouches for whatever you want to use them for. And now I have a blue one. So then in this particular pouch, what you do get, and I love these. Oh, oh there's something. In here. Oh, hold on. So the first thing is that you get this postcard with a letter that describes their story. And if you're not familiar with their story, but basically the founder of Galen Leather, she, this business was created due to her chronic illness, which kept her from speaking. So she decided then to go into leather goods and um, it's a family business. I love being able to support them. Then they include this postcard. Oh, I love that. So that is now my, should be my third postcard, but I don't know where the first one went. I have these on my wall here in my house. Don't sit and wait, get out there, feel life. I love that. And then you get the Turkish coffee. I have three bags of these now. I should make sure that they're still, <laughs> that they're not expired. And then you get the Earl Grey tea and then these wipes, these refreshing towels. This is the first time I've gotten this. So it's like a little tag, leather tag from Galen Leather. I love that. And then this didn't come in my last order, but I'm glad I got this now. This is the Evil Eye Charm. Yes, the Evil Eye Charm. So with each Galen Leather Co. product, we include a Nazar. This is famous in Turkish culture. So basically when someone's eyes are good fortune with jealousy and gluttony, bad luck in some form is bound to befall you. So they send you this as a talisman to ward against that. So very, very cool. So wherever you keep it in your home with your Galen items, we hope it will bring you good luck, good fortune, and peace. I love that. All right, so let's put away those freebies and let's look at this. Firstly, I love the box. I love the box that these come in because I keep these boxes. I keep all the boxes for pretty much all my fountain pens and things like this because they're just, they're great storage boxes. Oh, okay. What do you guys think I got? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Putting the box to the side. So, this looks like, is this a sticker? It looks like it's a sticker. Is it a sticker? I love stickers. Anyway, I'll do that just after. But this came free with it. A single pen case. I was not expecting this. And this is in the Crazy Horse Smoke, which is um, what I actually got my slim notebook for my Hobonichi in. This is a beautiful, beautiful leather. And well, how is my, oh, look at that. Fits that perfectly. Beautiful. But the main event this here. Let's take this off. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So this is the Leather Zippered Writer's Bank Bag and Pen Pouch, and this is in the undyed leather. I've never really purchased anything in the undyed leather, but it looks pretty accurate in terms of color. It looks like this peachy pink. Oh, love it. And then the really strong zipper. But what I like about it is this inside. So inside this pouch, I mean, you could fit, where is it? You could fit a, you could fit a Hobonichi in here. So this is a Hobonichi cousin. Oh, it fits that perfectly in there, Hobonichi cousin. But the main reason that I bought this was this pen pouch. So this little pen pouch tray holds seven pens, but then in the back, you actually can put a um, 
notebook in there. So what I'm hoping to do is actually put my seven currently inked pens in there and put something like, where did that go? I was going to put like some washi card tapes in here, like what um, Leanne got me or sent me. Let me find it here. Or even like post-its and stuff. So will that fit? Er, yes, it will. So I could put like washi cards there, put seven fountain pens there. And then basically I can either, I'll probably just have it open on my desk like that or put it in the bag at night. But let's try and put some pens in here to see how that all fits. So the first pen I'm gonna put in here is my newest one from F3 Pens. And this is actually a pretty big pen, so it's pretty thick. And then we've got my Ranga Zianti. What I'm hoping, and the reason that I bought this is because I'm hoping to keep two seven inked pens a month. Some people would find that excessive, but I think seven would work out for me. So that's my Le Bon 325. We've got the Twisby Diamond 580. I really like these elastics. They're very strong. And then Sailor Pro Gear Slam, which is so tiny now that I look at it compared to the rest of the pens. My Pelican 140. Again, another cutie patootie pen. And then my Cross Botanica, which is actually probably the narrowest or the skinniest pen that I have. And actually the elastic holds that quite well. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love the way that that looks. So fitting seven pens and then putting it straight in that pouch. I still think there's even room in there. So let me grab my notebook. So here is my Hobonichi A5 size notebook. And what I'm gonna do is you can actually put the back cover into the insert like that. And then you can actually just put that straight into the bank bag. And how does it zip up? So easily, beautiful. Yes, it kind of sticks out where the pens are, but I think this is such a great way if you were going to transport your you know, Hobonichi cousin and your pens all in one. This is a great, great option for that. What I think I'm going to end up doing is probably not keep my Hobonichi cousin in there. Maybe keep the notebook in there or I will have a B6 notebook that I will be using as an ink journal for 2023 and I'll probably keep it on the back of this. But I love the look of this. I love the color of the leather. I love these elastics. And like even without the pouch, just sitting on my desk like that. Oh, so attractive. This is probably something I, I mean, I don't travel out of the house very often with all of my fountain pens. So this would mainly stay at home. But if I were to ever travel with all of my currently inked fountain pens, I would be happy carrying it in that. But most of the time this is gonna stay at home with me on my desk and it'll be nice to just have a place to have all of my fountain pens securely on my desk displayed like that. Oh, I love it. So I am really liking this writer's bank bag with the pen pouch. I'm excited to see the way the leather will patina or wear over time with scratches and things. I mean, there's already certain scratches there and I didn't buy any of the leather bomb, but I just wanna see how it will wear over time. Thank you to Galen Leather for including this uh, one pen, or this pen sleeve. It's a beaut, I love this leather. This leather is already what I said in my uh, Hobonichi Cousin. And then including all of these treats as well. So once again, Galen Leather, highly, highly recommend them. Yes, they are a little bit more on the expensive side, but for quality leather goods, I think it is absolutely worth it. And shipping from Turkey to Canada was fantastic. Just take into account that there will be customs charges because it is being shipped at FedEx. If you guys are interested in any Galen leather and you've never tried Galen leather before, I have a code in the description below for 5% off your first order. All right, so if you guys have any questions, please love, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.